Hi, do you love watching those reality TV shows where investors go into a house, they fix it up and they flip it? Oh my gosh, they're so entertaining, right? And I have a little version of my own fix and flip situation going on here in Silicon Valley in the South Bay, but I'm not doing them for me. I do them for my clients. I help my clients fix them up and sell them. In this case, I'm sitting in front of a house. Let me show you. These clients got about an additional $300,000 on a $75,000 investment to fix up the house beforehand. I handled everything. I can't wait for you to see it, but I'll be honest, I didn't do the best before and after pictures, but it's a start. I'm doing about two of these a month, so get ready because I'm gonna keep rolling these types of videos out. But I love helping my clients make more money. So stick around and let me know what you think. So here's the original blue exterior home. This home is a three bedroom, two bath, uh, just under 1,400 square feet with an added sunroom, which added 300 square feet. What these pictures were taken while we started construction. These people had a lovely home. Don't think they lived all crazy like this. <laughs> that floor is already up. The kitchen was old though. So anyway, uh, about a 1,700 square foot house. I told them if they sold the house in its current condition, maybe just clean it up and whatnot, it would probably get around 950 to 975,000. And I said, my other option is, you know, I have a design team and construction crews. We can come in and redo everything. We pick paint colors and flooring. And I have to be honest in these pictures, the paint color doesn't look that great. It was a really beautiful, creamy, light gray. The flooring was beautiful, neutral, light brown, kind of with a gray tinge, but it, they don't look that good in this photographer. I was not happy with, but anyway, there you have it. New garage door, new front door, new exterior paint, new grass. I, you'll see these pictures. Everything's brand new except the master bathroom. We just had to do a little bit there, but the hall bath is completely gutted, brand new. The kitchen, brand new. All the flooring, like I said, is this luxury vinyl plank flooring throughout except in the sunroom, had carpet. We put new carpet in, um, new light fixtures, all new interior paint, so much work. Oh, look at the kitchen, all new kitchen, quartz counter with a gray, white with a gray vein through it, subway tile, and the backsplash that is so timeless, and stainless steel appliances, it just looks so good. We actually changed the lighting in the kitchen to create like a soffit ceiling, so it made it feel a little bit bigger. So I estimated that the repairs, we had exterior fences to repair. They have a, a pool, they have a pool liner that needs to be redone. New lawn front and back, trimming trees, all the full gamut, right? And I estimated around $70,000 and I thought they could get a return of about $1,250,000. So it was worth it to them. They did not want to do a HELOC. That was the only way they were going to get that kind of money just because it was going to take too long, honestly. And we didn't know where the market would be. So in cases like this, I offered to cover all the costs and get paid out of the close. Well, what's in it for me? Well, so my sellers are a lot happier with the end result. And it's easier for me to sell a house that looks beautiful like this. I'll be honest. It makes my job easier in the long run. And I think it's fun. It's like doing fix and flips all the time. Instead of me making the extra money, my sellers do, but I am perfectly happy with that because that's really what my job is. You can see the master is a little bit older there with the older tile. But anyway, so when all was said and done, it ended up costing $75,000. Now, I usually don't spend that much for my clients. That was steep, but it was so worth it. And the sale price ended up being $1,325,000. So almost $350,000 more off of a $70,000 investment, $75,000 investment. And that's what I do. And why do I do that? Again, I want to make my sellers happy. Here's the pool. If you have a situation like this that you don't have the funds to fix up your house, let my team and I come in and do it for you. We love it. So fun. All my contact is, info is below. Um, hopefully I'll meet you someday.